It's the end of the year here, which was we were all hoping was going to be a kind of a quick, easy out for Congress to finish up their business, but it's typically becoming messy once again. It is. It seems like every December we see something different. Fiscal cliff, of course, from a couple years ago. There's no really major national crisis, but the Senate is here trying to finish up the last amount of work before they hand control over to the Republicans. We have a bunch of nomination votes that they hope to get done this week. They have to do this terrorism risk insurance package, the extenders bill, and the omnibus spending bill, of course, now has become law. It was much harder than it should have been, really, at the beginning. Right, the I mean, even though nobody said we want to have a shutdown, this was still something that took a much bigger hurdle than I think either Republicans or Democrats thought was going to happen, particularly when usually it's the House that's you know, the problem child in Congress, but it was really the Senate that was holding things up. That's right, and it will be interesting to see how the Democrats deal with the last few issues here on their plate. Uh, they really want to get done this uh, TRIA package, as, as you know. Huge pressure, huge pressure from downtown, the Governors Association. I mean, everybody is weighing in, trying to get them to take action on this. There's been a dispute between uh, S Senator Chuck Schumer and Jeb Hensling over how to do this, and now it's really in the Senate's hands because the House passed its bill and it has left town. Yeah, and the pa House passed it with, I believe, 417 votes. I mean, that puts a lot of pressure on the Senate Democrats to just accept what the House did, uh, what they exactly do at this moment. We're not entirely sure that could certainly change uh, any minute here, but this is all about just finishing up the last amount of stuff before these guys leave town. Republicans are going to come back in early January and the whole agenda is going to change.